Hey guys, B Wong's here for another flying tutorial for heroes and generals, and today we'll be covering bombing. So I'm only going to be teaching you how to bomb in first person fixed camera mode. You can bomb in third person camera mode or in free look, but I only know how to bomb in first person camera mode, and I feel free look bombing is a little bit more advanced. We won't be covering it in this video. Now, not all the planes bomb similarly. Some of them bomb the same and some of them bomb a little bit differently depending where the bomb falls off of the plane which I'll show in the video before we get into the demonstration of how to use that plane and how to bomb. Okay, now we'll be covering all the planes. We'll be covering the recon planes first, then we'll be covering the fighter planes slash medium planes next, and lastly we'll be covering the heavy fighter planes slash the large planes. And in the sequence of the factions we'll be showing American planes first, German planes next, and Russians last, okay? So for example, the first three clips will be American recon plane, German recon plane, and Russian recon. Now, I'm gonna explain how to drop a bomb on your target if it's not moving, if it is moving, and in different directions. I will also be teaching you how to use your cannons effectively and also using your bombs in a mixed variation to take out your targets on the ground. Now, keep in mind that not all the planes can deal cannon damage to specific targets, uh, depending on what it is. For example, the tank has a lot of armor, so a recon plane machine guns won't be able to penetrate it with its ammunition. Uh, the best ammunition you want to use is APCR, and I feel it's the ultimate ammunition. Uh, you can take out plane targets easily and ground targets easily, and you can take out the jeeps, uh, the tanks, mostly anything on the ground. Now, it's not as easy to take targets out with the APCR compared to the HE. With the HE, you're not able to penetrate any of the armor, and with a little bit more skill, you'll be able to take out anything, be it infantry, be it planes, and or be it tanks. So I feel APCR is the dominant ammunition. So we're going to start the video. I want to keep it as short as 10 minutes, a little bit longer. And good luck, guys. And if you need to, pause, go back, and just study as much as you can. Hopefully it's helpful. And we'll be also be covering uh, the different speeds of the planes, if it's flying a little bit slower, a little bit fast, and when you need to drop that bomb, okay? So good luck, and I'll see you in the first video. This is the Owl Recon plane, and it drops its bombs normally compared to the other planes, just like that. All right, and we're going to get into the bombing. With the Owl Recon at the nose of the plane, when it touches the edge, that's when you want to drop your bomb. So I'm looking for a target right now. Circling, circling, and eventually see a moving target of that Jeep that's going to park right at the entrance of that building. So I'm going to approach and drop my bomb right there with the nose, and bam, hit that Jeep right there. So just at the tip of the nose, all right? Okay, so this is the Owl Recon, and we're going to demonstrate a moving target. So I'm marking, and you got to drop a bomb just ahead of that Jeep, so right now. Boom. So right at the nose of where the Owl is, and perfect hit. This is the B-1 German Recon Plane, and we're going to demonstrate how it drops its bomb. And it drops it normally, just like the Owl, like that. And we'll go to the next clip, demonstrating when to drop that bomb. With the B1, to get a direct hit on your target, make sure that the yellow part of the nose, when it touches the target, then you drop your bomb, like that. And it should be a direct hit. So just make sure that when the yellow part of the nose reaches your target, then you should drop your bomb. But still consider your speed as well. So I'm approaching this tank, lining up my nose, dropping when it reaches, and bam! right there and a nice 12 XP okay so we're in the RZ demonstrating how it bombs so drops bomb normally just like every other plane just in the center and we're gonna disseminate some bombing so with the RZ you want to line your nose of the plane at the center of the nose so in the middle so wait for it now and then there you go. So not the end in the nose of the plane, but in the center of the nose of the plane. So we'll show another clip demonstrating that, but a little bit faster, a little bit faster. Okay, in the second clip, 
I spot a Jeep at the end of the bridge. So we're going to get up some speed, wait for our nose to meet the center of that Jeep right there. And bam. So that was a little bit tricky because you couldn't see the Jeep but just get the timing when you're speeding up. We're going to cover the fighter planes or medium fire planes and we're going to demonstrate that with the Warhawk right now. And with the Warhawk you want to drop your bomb a little bit later so delay it because it drops behind your plane a little bit just like the Yak. Now that shows like it drops it normally but remember it's delayed. Okay so in this first clip we have the Warhawk and we're going to approach an AA gun and we're going to drop that bomb. So I'm shooting a little bit to weaken it, drop it right at the center of the nose similar to the RZ Recon. So we're in the Warhawk again, we're gonna target an AA gun and we're gonna speed up because we're diving. So you gotta drop that bomb a little bit earlier, like right now. Still in the center kind of of the nose, but a little bit earlier than it was before in the last clip. Here we have the Messerschmitt 109 German fighter plane and we're gonna demonstrate how it bombs from a side view. And it bombs like most fire planes, it drops it normally. There it is and drop. Unlike the Warhawk, it drops it normally. The Warhawk drops it a little bit delayed. So I'm in the 109 measurement. I spot the AA near the bridge. I notice there's a player trying to shoot us down. So I'm going to make a nice turn and approach. So remember, when that nose at the edge of the nose hits your target, you're going to drop that bomb. So right now. And I moved a little bit quicker in my plane, so I dropped it a little bit earlier on the nose. In this clip with the Messerschmitt 109, I just took off after repairing and I notice and I remember that the AA gun uh, is trying to shoot some of us down. So I'm going to use some cannon fire to weaken it and I drop my bomb right there a little bit early just because I'm moving a little bit quicker. Here we have the Yak and we're going to demonstrate a side view of how it drops its bomb. So it drops it right at the tail of the plane like that. So you have to delay your bomb, make sure the nose covers over your target before you drop it. Similar to the Warhawk, and the Warhawk has a longer plane, so you delay the bomb. Here we have the Yak, and we're going to approach our target at B. There's some targets, so we're going to drop it at the nose, bam, like that. Just covered, and we hit our target. So remember, cover just the tip of the nose a little bit, then drop that bomb to make sure that you're going to get a direct hit with the Yak. In this next clip, I noticed there are a few targets moving on the bridge and we're going to catch a little bit more speed so make sure you drop it a little bit earlier so the tip of the nose so we're speeding us we didn't see my target and drop the tip of the nose bam so we hit that jeep perfect two kills right there here we have the heavy fire plane classes this is the p38 aka lightning and we're going to demonstrate a side bomb and it drops in the center like most planes and all the heavy fire planes drop the bomb similar here we have the p38 and we're going to take out a tank, dropping two bombs. So the first one, we're going to weaken him. Second one, we're going to finish him off. Now to spawn him, you'll see me shoot the cannons on the moving tank. Bam, 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 bam. And then we drop it just between the nubs of the cannons right there. So just as it touches the nubs of those cannons, you want to drop that bomb. We're going for a second pass to finish it. Now I see that tank moving into the trees, trying to get some cover in the shadows. I'm going to drop it right where I know where it is. And bam, as you see it, taking it out just like that. Now this next clip is going to demonstrate that you can take tanks out with just your cannons because you have the firepower to do so. So the best way to take out a tank with your cannons is to get right on top of him, slow your speed down, fire all the cannons, and when he blows up, just pull up. Make sure you pull up a little before so you don't crash and maintain your speed accordingly. In this third clip, we're going to demonstrate the P-38 taking out a tank using cannon fire and a bomb mixture. And this is the best way to use your bombs efficiently so you can take out more tanks two at a time with a heavy fire plane. So I'm going to shoot the tank with my cannons. Notice I can't finish them off. Drop the bomb right at the nose of the nubs of the cannons and bam, taking them out. And now I have enough firepower to take a second tank if I need to. Here we have the 410, the German heavy fighter plane. And we're going to do a side shot to demonstrate how it bombs, just like that. Now, this plane is a little bit more difficult to bomb, so keep in mind, it's going to take a lot more practice. The 410 is difficult to bomb because if you notice in first person fixed mode, you don't see the nose of the plane. So it's difficult since you don't have a guide to drop a bomb. Now, we're going to bomb a tank just past the B cap. And I'm speeding up really quickly, so I'm going to drop a little bit ahead, like right there. So if you go back to the video, I dropped it just above the mg sign a little bit like a centimeter above the mg sign or a quarter inch for you americans who 
use the Imperial system. In this next clip, the 410 will be flying head-on against a tank while it crosses the river. So I'm going to fly around and make my approach. Keep in mind that you're flying against the tank in the opposite direction. You're going to drop that bomb a, little, a lot earlier so the bomb lands on the target instead of the head. So right there. And bam, I got a nice multi-kill. So keep in mind, head-on, you got to drop that bomb a lot more earlier, just like a moving target. Here we have the PE-3 heavy fighter plane for the Russians, and we're going to demonstrate a bomb side shot. So it drops the bomb just like the P-38 and the 410 heavy fighter planes. With the PE-3, what you want to do is make sure that nose of the plane just covers your target as you drop the bomb. So cover the target and drop that bomb. So cannon fire, combo with the bomb, bam, just dropped it when it passed the nose of the plane, just like that. In this next clip, I'm going to be taking out an AA, kind of a quick reaction before the game ends. So I'm flying, I notice it shooting at me, I turn around, lining up my nose just as it passes it now, and bam, hit that AA and took him out. So guys, I hope this video was helpful for you. You've learned something new. Um, it'll improve your bombing and you won't be doing a lot of carpet bombing, just hoping to hit your target. And this is going to be the end of the tutorials. So congratulations for watching all the videos. Appreciate it. And just give that like or post a comment if you have any questions. Be in mind, I'm always on my Twitch channel if you have any questions about the flying tutorials. And now that I finally completed it, I'm just happy that I can offer uh, some helpful tips with a more updated version of a flying tutorial for heroes and generals. So good luck guys, have fun, and I'll see you in the air.